The Doberman is one of the most recognisable breeds in the world because of their long-standing use as military and police dogs. They are extremely intelligent and loyal, and they excel at high-level obedience, scent, and protection work. So let's take a look at the history of the breed to find out how this amazing breed was developed in a not-so-distant past. Welcome back to the Femrear Doberman channel. If this is your first time here, my name's Will, I'm a canine behaviourist and I'm the founder and CEO here at FemreaCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything that you could possibly want to know about the incredible Doberman, then how to become a high level canine leader that can raise perfect Doberman companions. So if you love the Doberman as much as we do here at Fenrir, then start your journey by hitting that subscribe button and turning on the notification bell so that you never miss a future Doberman video. So then let's dive into today's video and we'll take a look at the history of the Regal Doberman and how it came to be one of the most popular working breeds in the entire world. The Doberman is an imposing yet sleek guard dog that just seems to radiate nobility and confidence. They are considered a medium to large working breed and also a relatively new breed, having been developed in the 1890s. Now, you may know that the Doberman was originally developed in Germany by a tax collector to protect him on his rounds. And as you can probably imagine, he probably wasn't the most popular person in town. In addition to being a tax collector, Louis Doberman, the father of the breed, also ran the local pound, so he had access to a wide variety of dog breeds to create his perfect protector. He wanted a canine that was devoted and imposing, and the early members of the breed were larger and less sleek than the dog that we recognise, know and love today. Now, originally the breed was called the Doberman Pincher, but in the 20th century the Pincher was dropped from the name as it no longer reflected the breed. Pincher in German is terrier and while there were several terrier breeds that contributed to the Doberman the breed that they turned into wasn't really that terrier like at all Hey guys, very quickly, I just wanted to interrupt and let you know about our boot camp program if you've never heard of it before. It's the program that as a canine behaviorist, I use every single day with all of the clients and all of the bad behavior cases that I work with to high levels of success. It is focused on teaching you how to become a high level canine leader that is able to restructure the relationship with your dog so that they see you as that leader and they know to look up to you for guidance and direction. When we achieve that, we can then finally address those bad behavior problems and get to the point of having the perfect canine companion that you've always dreamed of. So if you want more information about our bootcamp program, the link will be down in the description box below. But until then, let's get back to the video you were just watching. Now, five years after Doberman's death, another early breeder of the Doberman created the National Doberman Pincher Club in Germany and is credited with the refinement and perfection of the breed. There isn't really a clear picture of the breeds that went into developing the Doberman, but most people agree that that did include the Rottweiler, the Black and Tan Terrier, and the German Pincher. The only real documented crossings were with Greyhounds and Manchester Terriers, but the old German Shepherd is largely believed to be the base stock for the government. When you look at each of these breeds next to the modern Doberman, you can see bits and pieces of each of those breeds that went into contributing to creating this breed that we love today. Now, the breed became very popular in World War II and the US Marine Corps adopted the Doberman as the military branch's official war dog for World War II. There are countless stories of military Dobermans alerting soldiers to impending attacks and tracking criminals over huge distances. It was a Doberman named Kurt who was the first to be buried in the war dog cemetery in the United States and his likeness is immortalized in bronze at the entrance to the cemetery still to this day. Now, the Doberman has been a long-time favourite for service work as well as military and police work. The breed is extremely intelligent and willing to please, with a high drive to do any job assigned to them. This almost also makes them exceptional service dogs and family guardians, and in the right hands the Doberman is easy to train and considered one of the most intelligent breeds in the entire world. Though they can be a bit of a handful because of their massive energy levels and glued to your hip devotion, this is what makes them so good in competitions. 
Now, the Doberman has also starred in several movies over the years, and the breed has been popular ever since it gained fame in World War II for those acts of heroism. In 2019, the Doberman ranked 17th most popular dog breed out of 196 total breeds. That's a pretty high ranking, and it's hard to think of the other fabulous breeds that rank below it. It just goes to show how versatile and adaptable the Doberman has become today. This amazing breed has gone far beyond what Louis Doberman intended when he set out to develop this perfect canine protector. Now, I hope you enjoyed today's video and that little overview of the history of the Doberman. If you did, please hit that like button and don't forget to get involved down in the comment section below. If you are here, hit that subscribe button and notification bell because we've got two Doberman videos coming to this channel every single week and that way you'll never miss out on our next Doberman video. So thank you so much and I can't wait to speak to you again on the next episode of the Femre Doberman Show.